broadcast live. I want to ask you something that you are you, you're more than welcome to pass on the question. Um, I don't know if you are at liberty to divulge in the conversation, but I don't know if you saw Flex Rabanyani's tweets about Paola mm. and whatever and whatever. whatever. Mm. How do you feel about those kind of conversations as somebody who's a tastemaker, as somebody who is quotation mark responsible for mm. you know for people's music somewhat because you should know that mm. presenters and DJs what do was not Flex, playlist you. What was Flex saying? Because so, I was I to tell you the all I picked up with was the loot, like we were talking about loot. Oh no, that was when it went to When I was like what like I didn't see the actual thread as to how so, it started. So he, you know. he posted a tweet saying that um, he had taken nine K, eight K or mm. however however much K to um, a person at Metro FM yeah. and his song is not played. So yeah. And I, I can't remember if he was saying that, well, I guess I might as well tell you now, or I can't remember what the actual context was, but he said that I, I, I paid 9k to someone at Metro and my song was not playing, so what happens now? Mm. That's when obviously Halberg Loose were like, okay, but you taking part in this conversation and because it backfired, it becomes public mm. knowledge. And so mm. there's, there's a back and forth of who is it? He's not at liberty to say who it is. But at the same time, so that's how it kind of started. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So why why was he if he did pay wherever the amount of nature of him? Why 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 is he partaking in the payola then if he's gonna if he's complaining about it? Hmm. What's Where? what's 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 that like? What's Questions that, that need answers. <laughs> what's that about? You know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. And um, um, I think with that whole thing, like I said, I only picked up the thread um, mm -hmm. um towards the end. But with, with regards to payola or whatever um. I think I, th I, th I think people like I say. Why did he partake in it? You know what I mean. People need to also need to also remember that if you're gonna complain about Paola because you tried to do it and they said no, you're just as wrong. Mm -hmm. you, you, you you know what I mean. Um, I personally have never experienced any Paola. I personally have never taken anything. You know, um, I've heard a lot of people be like, um, maybe. Um, um, we'll book you for a lot of gigs and then you, like, you're going to put out music and I'm mm. like, you can book me for a million gigs but when you do your music, you got to send it to Nati. Don't even send it to me. Mm. Like, don't involve me in, in that kind of thing. But that, I, I felt like what um, what uh, Rabanyani uh, did was, wasn't cool in, 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 in the sense that, like, um, um, you know, um, I saw Blacklist tweeting, said maybe some maybe we must go back to, uh, like, reshapaneng, you know, because it's also like a thing of... of of respect, you know what I mean? Especially when you speak about someone else's woman and someone you're supposed to see as a hot man, someone who could possibly guide you and stuff and you, and you speak to them like that is, is, is very disrespectful. Let's, even if we take it out the industry, just as human beings, I don't, personally, I don't think that's the light you're supposed to be coming into the game with because now when you say flex over here, I'm like, but you busy, you busy talking about my friend, like my direct, like direct friend. You think I'm gonna give you attention? Mm. No, no. And he's been, he's came to the studio, he's came to the studio a lot of times. He gave me the album, I listened to the album, but that doesn't mean anything. I tell people all the time, just because you came, whatever, and not in a bad way. Let's say you 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 slept there, you came there, whatever. That doesn't mean I have to play it. You came, I got it. That's it. So you can't, Flex can't be mad that we're not, they're not playing your stuff. Maybe your shit doesn't fucking bang, bro. You heard what Keita says, you know what I mean? And that is just the truth of it. I want to ask you something. Oh, still on the conversation, but I don't want to obviously focus on flex. So, mm. in, that, in that conversation was the, 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 the diss track that he dropped. And the conversation was, but it's hip hop and it's a diss track. Diss tracks are not supposed to be nice and pretty. And I, I stand with your humanity conversation of, mm. I know, Dude, you know, we're track. dissing each That's other, fine. I get it, but like, I don't, I, I felt some type of way about some shit, like bro, leave some of the, you know, the family stuff, mm. the personal stuff out of it, mm. but I mean, where do we draw the line in this, in this beef conversation where, even with, with, with the Drake and Pusha conversation, Pusha dropped some shit that was like, whoa, you know, mm. and then that, that we would think maybe it's, it's not in his place to say, mm. so where do we draw the line in, in these kind of conversations of this is hip hop, we're doing it in the name of hip hop, hip hop is a competitive sport, like, it's a it goes sport. back to the thing, about, I said see, I see more states, Mona, okay. so I'm Obviously, we aspire to the states. Those things, like they, that is hip hop, of course. Everywhere you go, those things happen there. Whatever, the the ricochets and whatever comes from that are different to what would come in in our place because mm. we're not we're not a majority hip hop nation. You know what I mean? So we always have to be be mindful of things we do, how we move, what you say. Like you, unfortunately, it isn't just 
open like mm. like like the states and i agree with you 100 percent. i mean I, it's all good and well to do the diss track or whatever whatever but you're looking number one you're looking for attention and number two you're getting the wrong attention as a new artist which isn't advisable like i was saying because you're probably going to struggle even more now because reason and loot have their respect you know i mean they've they respect it they've They've earned it. They've been here for, for 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 lots of years, and I'm glad that Reason didn't actually like respond. Because at the end of the day, if you go back to being a human, like Flex can die on to him, and you know you know what I mean. Like there has to be that respect thing. I also wouldn't stoop low for like uh, a, a, a new kid, and I have nothing against him. But like I said, if you're take a sh if you're taking shots at at at, at someone who's directly um, and at me, then you, you're basically coming at me as well, you know. So the nice thing, the nice thing about me is, 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 is that, um, like you say, I'm always low key about myself. It's not even a thing about being low key. Like I don't have funny things. I don't have funny business. So you can't even talk shit about me, you mm -hmm. know. So um, yeah, I forgot what I was saying. Now we're talking about. <laughs> it's okay. I'm Just giving go with you way flow. too much PR, bro. Yeah. Let's. How do you? How do you stay the way you've stayed for the past ten years? I mean. The game is crazy, shit happens, life happens in the mm. background while no one is watching. How do you stay focused? Because we've seen people come in with some steam. Oh, this is promising, it's, it's looking great. If this guy continues on this path, he's going to be the next. Mm. And then three years later, the conversation is like, so where is dude, mm. you know? Mm. How do you maintain, I would say maintain, how do you survive this industry? I mean, firstly, I'm a very driven person, you know, so um, I always want to work, I always want to be busy. So I think that's, you know, that's a, if, if you're a driven person, you're always going to want to do things. But then also for me personally, things happen at the right time for me. So things happen gradually at the right time for me. You may come to the club now and find me popping bottles, but that's not what I was doing when I was coming up, you know? And when I'm, now that I'm popping the bottles, I'm popping them for free. Do you, 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 you understand mm -hmm. how I stay in my lane? Like, I've always remained in my lane, always um, respected everybody, um, always learn, always um, try and understand things, and, 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 and just, I don't know, just, just be a human being, just relax. Yeah. You know, everything comes with time, everything takes patience. So with me, I've, I've just been patient with myself, I've been patient with the game. Uh, I've respected the game, I've respected my craft, I've never missed a gig in my life, I've never been late for So those are small little things that people mm. don't understand how important those things are, you know. So, um, yeah, I just chill, I just relax, everybody just fucking chill. Yeah, and also people like, like, I'm, people like, like, like talking too much, I'm more of like a doer, like I'll show you, I don't want to tell you, I'll show you kind mm. of a thing. Um, so I think, yeah, that's what's been, like, uh, uh, keeping me going, but I'm pretty tired, like I'm, <laughs> I'm exhausted as a human being. I have four yeah. or five jobs and it's, it's tiring. It is very, very tiring. And, and the nice thing is that now I've grown up, I've grown up as a human being, you know. I'm, I'm, not, I'm 27 this year, you know. And I'm like content and I say maybe when I'm 30 I won't DJ anymore. That's maybe I'll go into the next shift of my, of my life. Mm. Maybe I'll go work in the office. I don't know. I just take things one day at a time. Yeah. yeah. Congratulations on everything you've achieved. Thank you. Super, super proud of you. Um, it's really, we don't say it enough to each other, but it's actually really inspiring to make it out in one piece or to even still remain in it in one piece. Yeah, it's a doggy dog. Because <laughs> we lose a lot of ourselves, we give a, give a lot of ourselves so many whirlwinds that we walk through, and it's, it's really quite. Yeah. Uh, it's, a it's tough. No, trust together. me. I, I, I go th I go through yeah. the most. <laughs> like I've been through the most. I've sacrificed so much. What's your coping mechanism? Um, we all have coping mechanisms, and I think 2019 is a good year to have loud conversations about our coping mechanisms because we're all going through stuff quietly, and that's yeah. okay. Naturally, you don't want people up in your business, but I think as people who are in the limelight and people that are leaders in our in the culture when we're not okay uh let's also share notes to say yo when you're going through this this is how i did it mm. try it and see if it works what's mm. your coping mechanism i mean i've i've i my my coping, coping mechanism is is working right so i give me a gig let me do the radio like for instance i use the example like i've been doing this december radio show from december to january every day like i was mm. on radio every day in the midst of decembering in the midst of uh, doing gigs in the midst of doing tv so i'm like exhausted at the moment you know and um 
like people always say like okay dude we know like working is your coping mechanism but you need to find another yeah one don't burn yourself down because i'm, yes. I'm proper burned out that's why i've always it sounds like i've got the flu always because i'm not sleeping properly i'm not eating properly or whatever so i myself am trying to find a new um coping mechanism i used to have a uh, a partner you know that, that that used to be like my my getaway my my getaway time but then even when i was with my partner i would still think about work you know so um, I'm, I'm slowly, I'm slowly trying, trying to figure it out. Um, um, I mean, I've, I started seeing a therapist, you know, um, see if that will maybe help me out or whatever. So I actually don't know what my coping uh, mechanism. And I, even when I'm in the swimming pool, I, I can't even take that five minutes to just be in a swimming pool. I'm in the swimming pool thinking about what's happening on my cell phone. Gamo, are you replying to the email? I can be sitting in the pool and I could call the office and be like, yeah. what, like, what's happening? Why, why are we not? Yeah. What's happening? You know what I mean? Okay, well, I'm <laughs> gonna give you a challenge, <laughs> and we're gonna pinky swear on it. 2019 is the year you figure out three coping mechanisms. Mm. You have to do three. I'm gonna mm. check on you in September. No, i And you must find the one that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start taking like um, time out yeah. to myself. You know. Um, with and you it. must switch off the phone. Yeah, switch that. off the phone, switch off the socials, and just do me, you know. Yeah. But it scares me, so I'm I'm, I'm trying to yeah. like overcome. Okay, it three coping me. mechanisms by the end of the year. Nice. Nobody breaks the pinky swear, y'all. So I will be checking on you in September. Yeah, September. We're gonna have another. We can have another yeah. conversation when I drop the album. Yeah. And um, I'm sure by September I would have done a lot, you know. Um, we would have a lot to speak about. Yeah. Combos communicating. You dropped a song that is a popular culture term mm. how does that feel like mm. we all just like your combos are communicating or mm. what how does mm. that feel amazing because i'm always seen as like the style guy you know? yeah so it, it only makes sense that he made a song about it so that's amazing it's amazing that 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 like um you know a lot of people were like yeah you'll never have another mayo or whatever and i was like yes i know i won't have another mayo but i'm just getting started with this thing yeah. mayo is a classic and you don't have to have another, another mayo. that's an era Leave and now Combi is communicating with a 2018 era stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it didn't even come in as, like you say, it's, it's, it's more of a, like a big caption than what it is of actually a song. Mm. You know when people mm. are like, hear the song for the first time, so they're like, oh, that's, that's where, where that comes, comes from. from. You know what I mean? <laughs> and it's like, for me, it's cool because it's like, that's, that's, when you say you impact the culture and you impact people, it's not, it can be through different things. Mm. It can be through different ways. It's not just through music. It's not just through being on radio or whatever, maybe through different things. I mean, Combo's communicating, I saw it on like 112,000 views on, 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 on YouTube. And that excites me because that means it's still, people are still, there's a lot of yeah. people that haven't even seen yeah. it, you know what I mean? But yeah, it feels really, really amazing. The relationship that um, Alum and I have, have um, created over the past couple of months is also really, really cool. We've been hanging a lot, like talking shit, getting drunk, like, yeah. you know, like we've, we've become friends, which is really, really cool. So. Yeah, I'm glad that that happened because it also gives me some legs in 2019, you know. I'm, I still got a, a smash on the street, I still got yeah, a smash on yeah. the radio while I'm doing all these other things. So it's, it's all just really, really, like, really dope blessings. How's the merch going? How's the merch industry going? I mean, I, I don't even want to imagine the logistics and the admin, but... I don't even know. This is my manager comes. Yeah, puts so she she oh she puts everything together. That is sweet. I was like put it in the store. I don't I don't even, I don't even yeah. know how much we sold. Whatever. That's power. I gotta go check out how much they owe me. They probably owe me money because I've seen yeah. people posting. But um, whatever, it's it's, it's, it's never money. That's thing. dope, and that's wise. I like the fact that you didn't go through the whole because some of the things that you want to execute for yourself. By the time you get towards getting them done, you've lost the passion. You've, you've lost gone through the whole, the whole process. process. Yeah, it's so like draining. Yeah, yeah, we just did some cool designs, printed shirts, uh, yeah. kind of plug for the store, and, and that's it. I'm, yeah. I'm no designer. I'm not gonna go to China and buy dogs. <laughs> you know, I'm, yeah, I'm not yeah. doing that. Yeah. Man, congratulations! Bottle Brush Street is coming out. Your home street. Mm. Shout out to the Val. Shout out to everybody that's Shout held out. him down for all these years. We're just getting started. Congratulations. Um, good luck. Thank you. And we will be checking in when the album I'll see you guys soon. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. I think uh, 2019 is going to be my biggest year. Um, I'm really, really focused. What's Slick doing? Um, yeah, <laughs> 2019 is going to be a, a big uh, DJ speech the year. I'm scared for you guys, to tell you the uh -oh. truth. Because, yeah, because I feel like um, I need to have like one or two more big years and then I got to go. You know what I mean? Where are you going? 
Um, to I, live your best life? Not to live my best life, but I mean, for me, like, I eventually, you know, I want to chill with Cat I want to chill with Diddy, you know, I want to, what Black Coffees, I want to, I want to do that eventually, yeah. you know? Um, so it's cool. There's a new segment on my, my radio show that's coming up in Feb. I've teamed up with some guys in ATL, so they're going to be doing a five minute segment on my show. I'm doing a five minute segment on the ATL show, you nice. know? So I'm really having conversations, like, I want to, be with Potreva Noah, Charlize Theron. Yeah. yeah. I, bet, I, I think two more years and I'm out of here. Yeah. Well, you know what? Let's do it. You know, it's the universe. Go big, it's, yeah. It's, it's big enough big, for all yeah. of us. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's, yeah. As far as you reach is as far as you mm, get. So. Mm. I want to be super big, come home, just do summer tours, always have my home. Yeah. I want my, well, one day when I have kids and stuff, I want, definitely want my kids to grow up in South Africa. It's a beautiful place. But in terms of the DJ speech, their career and their mm, the name. Brand. We still gotta go, yeah. Yeah. Still gotta so, go. Good luck, Godspeed. Thank you. And and keep killing them, son. Thank you. Just put them on life support though, because we still need them. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of Shout things like you, life yeah? support, all like I I I, I want to say to like artists and, and 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 DJs or whatever. A lot of DJs, a lot of artists that you that you know that are made don't have life support. They don't have medical aid. They don't have insurance. Get that shit, it's important. Mm, mm. Your favorite artist get into acting, go para. That's not how it's supposed to be done. Get that shit, that is the important part. Mm. Word, word to the wise. Red Couch 2019. DJ Speedster Bottle Brush Street is officially out. Get it, get it, get it, get it. There's also an album on the way, so there's plenty from him this mm. year. Broadcast live.